Hey everybody, I just got done doing a little bit of maintenance on my 40 gallon waterfall tank here. I was actually prepping the tank to shoot a different video and while I was doing it I got to thinking about the tannins in the water and how tea stained this tank gets and how quickly it gets so tea stained. And it got me to thinking about how many comments I've heard over the years and how many people have talked about uh, tannins coming out of driftwood over a period of a few months and you can pre-soak it and people talk about boiling it and that will get the tannins out of the driftwood and then you can put it in your tank and you know so on and so forth and I've always been a bit puzzled by that because my experience is no matter how long wood has been in my tanks I still get tannins leaching out of them and I'll grant you it's not as heavily over time as it is in the beginning but even according to the websites I was looking at that do say that tannins will continue to leach out of the wood forever, uh, it just, even those say that over time it gets to the point where it's not even noticeable and it's not going to stain your aquarium brown and that sort of thing. And I just wonder what other people's experience with driftwood is and, you know, putting different kind of woodwork in their tank. To me, as long as wood is in the tank, it's breaking down, it's deteriorating, it's decomposing it's producing tannic acid and that stains your tank brown I, again I've had tanks that have been up and running for years like the better part of a decade with woodwork in it that's the same wood it's been in there forever and I still get tannin stains in the water now I also know or I've always been told and I assume this applies to certain aquarium plants uh, I know terrestrial plants will produce tannic acid in their roots and tannic acid is what tannins actually is so when I used to live in Florida I used to go camping on the Suwannee River and it's a blackwater river and my understanding back then was that the water was black from the tannins not of the fallen trees that were in the water that doesn't make sense if you think about it the flowing water would just you know the tannins would just be removed from the system and over time if the tannins were leaching out of that wood I mean how much new timber is falling into this river on a regular basis to keep it staying literally black and if you've ever been to a black water uh, type environment I mean, you stick your hand down into it to the wrist you can't see your fingertips anymore I mean it's dark it's like coffee and that couldn't possibly be from the fallen logs that are in the water and I was always told that that was from the tree roots of the growing trees uh, in the forests that surround the river and they leach their tannins into the soil and when it rains that in turn leaches into the uh, rivers and that's where that black water comes from and of course the roots of the trees along the banks actually hang directly into the water and are distributing their tannic acid right into the river itself so I've always kind of thought the same thing was the case with my aquariums and I know when you look at say the roots of java fern in particular it's a real dark brown it almost looks like thick coarse brown hair it's almost like woody in appearance and tanks that I have that have java fern in them always seem to have uh, tannin stained water and I was looking at my office tank it's got one small piece of wood in it and I mean it's a piece of wood about that big it's a small piece of wood it's in a 20 gallon tank and that was one of the first pieces of wood I ever bought when I got into the fish keeping hobby uh, 10 years ago or more and or thereabouts 10 years maybe 9 years 10 years something like that but it's been in the water all that time and that tank still has tea stained water in it. I just did a water change a week ago and I was noticing how brown that water looks already and it can't possibly be from that one little piece of wood even if that piece of wood was brand new maybe then you'd get some really browning of the water but again for a piece of wood as old as that is either it's still producing an awful lot of tannins or the java fern that I have, I have java windelov in that tank and I also have a big uh, temple plant that grows up and out of the tank and so there's a fairly significant root system there. Now the roots on the temple plant are nice and white, they don't have that brown appearance but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not producing tannic acid, I don't know how that works necessarily. But I do have a lot of java in there and that does have those brown sort of hairy roots and that tank has brown stained water in it with one small piece of wood that has literally been underwater for the, almost a decade, you know. And so where's, where are those tannins coming from in that tank? Is it the roots of the growing plants or is it that wood that's still leaching tannins? And either way, 
None of that lines up with what I always hear from everybody everywhere. This is another one of those things that everybody says that, that just, to my experience, says otherwise. I don't know why, uh, for example, I look on uh, fish forums, and I'll save my opinion about what I think about fish forums for another video maybe. Um, but I was reading comments, you know, I was just scanning through my Google search results. I wasn't participating in any of these. I was just looking at all these different questions that have popped up and all these various uh, forums. And people are saying, you know, I've had this piece of driftwood in my tank for six months now and my, my water is still turning brown. Like, what's going on? What am I doing wrong? And I mean, some of them even said as little as one month and they were still concerned about why their water was still turning brown or whatever. And I'm thinking, you know, I've had water for one decade and my water is still turning brown. I just, I don't understand this idea that, that you know, the tannic acid that's in the wood is just going to disappear over time. The impression I get from that sort of idea that it's just going to go away over time is almost like the wood has been dyed brown, like the way you dye a piece of clothing or something, and then you got to wash it a few times to make sure you get all that excess dye out. But once you've got all that excess dye leached out of it, you're good to go, and everything's going to be nice and, you know, color fast and no more stains are going to come out and that's just that's not how it works I'm, I'm assuming that the and again listen to that, I'm, I'm assuming that the tannic acid is produced as the wood decomposes so as long as it's in your tank and breaking down it's still going to be producing tannic acid and your wood is your, your water is still going to get uh, stained brown anyway that's my experience and that's my two cents on that I don't really think I have any more to Say, I'm just kind of curious as to what other people's opinions or experiences are. Do you have wood in your tank uh, without having any planted, uh, you know, plants or, or roots or anything? Does the, the, the brown staining in the water go away over time? You know, do you have plants without any driftwood? And does your water still turn brown even though there's no wood in the tank at all? It's only maybe some java fern? Maybe I can set up an experiment, set up a simple tank with only some java fern in it and we can see if the... Um, you know, water turns brown over time or something. I don't know. That's just an idea thrown out there. Anyway, I'd love to hear your opinion and your thoughts on this topic. So make sure you go below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. Don't forget this one is my waterfall tank. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.